here's my problem my HP LaserJet 4200 it could be the 4250 or the 4350 or the 4300 uh, they all suffer from the same problem if you're using the uh, Jet Direct 615N card they've been known to have problems and they'll give you an error an EIO error uh, the error is 82 dash zero one eighty and what that basically means is there's an error in your network card and the jet direct card which is having an interface problem with the printer itself when that happens you have no network connectivity with the printer itself and this is the quick fix that I found on the internet I don't know who to give credit to right now but uh, I'll find out later later and put it in the notes so the first thing you want to do is you want to turn off the printer when you're having that error then you want to go to your jet direct card in the back yeah go ahead and take the network cable loose take the pins out uh, unscrew the pins then you want to take the actual card itself okay the jet direct card itself now you have to remember it's having the air so you want to take the jet direct card itself I'm going to see if I can place this down in an area where you can see me Okay, you take the Jet Direct card itself, and <laughs> as funny as it sounds, you take a torch. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start up the torch. Uh, you bring the torch down to a medium flame. If you can still hear me, you bring the torch down to a medium flame, and just want to run it back and forth, run it back and forth on the card. You don't want to run it so hard that you're actually heating one spot more than the others. So you're heating, even heating, heating, even heating, all the way back and forth. In this message, in this method you don't have to you don't have to cook the card in a 350 degree oven for eight minutes you can just directly heat it heat one side then go ahead and um, you see I'm holding the plastic and then heat the other side and you can see what I'm doing I'm just straight heating it there are no components here that should catch on fire uh, you, you're, you're really heating away from the plastic okay so you go ahead and heat it up you should get a nice even heat all the way back and forth you know I was actually surprised that this did work uh, it worked a lot more uh, a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently than cooking it in a 350 degree oven for eight minutes there's apparently um, I guess some micro solder joints that, that tear and when you heat it you cause them to expand and they actually make a reconnection so I, I can't put it back in right now because it's really hot <laughs> but um, what happens is the card itself will reform all those connections you don't have to actually reset the card so all your network uh, settings that were in the card before stay current um, a lot of people have already switched out due to the uh, the defect program that HP ran they've already switched out to the jet direct cards the uh, was the 620 in for the 40 uh, the 4200s or the 4300 series uh, but if you're fortunate enough to still have your uh, 615 in card your jet direct card this is uh, it's a workable fix it actually fixes the card so I'm gonna I'm go ahead and put it back in now because it's a uh, it's at least cool to the touch but let's go ahead over here and plug it back in and so I'll find a spot back here let's see here there we go jacking it in and tightening the screws Tightening the screws. I find my network card. Uh, my network. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, my network connection. And the whole process should take probably about you know two minutes for you to get everything all set, get it heated, let it cool down a little bit, and then then restart the unit. And it's going to go up. It's going to go through. This indicator right here is for my, my local router, this indicator right here. It indicates whether or not the printer is initiating the JetDirect card. And you can see, once you make it halfway through the memory check and the systems check, it pops right up. Yeah, it popped right up, there you go. Uh, so, uh, you know, I was ready to spend about 90 bucks for a, 60, uh, a 620 in JetDirect card. And you don't have to. 
uh, you, you use about I guess five cents worth of propane and a couple of seconds of ingenuity and bada bing bada boom so there's the the screen it indicates everything's okay and the system's ready to go and it communicates on the network again I hope this helps somebody because it really helped me and like I said uh, I'm gonna find out who gave the suggestion of heating it up in an oven a toaster oven or oven that's been set to 350 degrees for eight minutes and I'll give him credit but uh, my method is a little quicker <laughs> and it works you know the end results is what we're all looking for so take care guys good luck take care bye bye